What's up, everybody? Welcome to today's episode of the Comeback Podcast with your host, Mark Jennison, founder and creator of the Comeback Movement, the man that is going to change your life. Today's topic is never let the sun set on your promises. Sit back, enjoy the show, and let's roll. Ladies and gentlemen, what's been going on? It's been a while since I've done one of these things. I've had a lot of things going on, a lot of business transitions, a lot of things internally, uh, a lot of stuff going on in my personal life. And truthfully, I just didn't have a whole lot that I wanted to say because I was inward reflecting on doing some things and trying to make some chess moves in my mind to uh, to, to make my life better in certain areas. So um, I'm back today, right? I think we've kind of changed the structure of where we're going to do these things. Some people like these things every single day. Honestly, not every day I had something great to say, but today I do. So the topic, never let the sun set on your promises. I was coming home last night from dinner. It was my wife's birthday and goal cast, I'm sure. You guys probably know what that is. If not, go check it out. Pretty cool page, but uh, something popped up. I started playing on my phone. It was a very interesting story. Um, it caught my attention right away. It was about a dad who was hanging up on his son and the two friends or two buddies or employees, wherever they were. We're like, what? you know, they wanted some deep, deep, dark, uh, you know, conversation, more of like a yelling spree at them of telling, of telling him, hey, this is why you shouldn't hang up with your son. And it was good if you check it out, check it out. But the premise, the moral of the whole story was never let the sun set on your promises. And one of the guys they talked about in there was talked about how he died because his dad didn't love him and didn't care about him and didn't really pay attention to him and. Long story short, got picked up drugs and alcohol, and boom, died. Now, you're not fucking dead. As easy as it is for you to come up with a million ways to say no, I want you to consider the fact that you could just say yes. Now, I'm not saying you have to say yes every time. In particular, today I'm talking about to your kids. So when I, hit, when I read that or heard that, you know, it, it struck a chord in me from some promises that were broken to me that really fucked up my life, right? That were never kept to me, that actually still had, like, I didn't realize it until I hear, hear, heard it last night and then thought about it how much it actually still fucking has weight on side of me. Now, luckily, I'm kind of an asshole, so I don't give a fuck anymore. But at the time of the pain and the things that I was going through, the promises were broken, really fucked up my life. Now, how do I translate this to you? If you're drinking, if you're promising your wife that you'll quit. If you're drinking, you promise the kids you're going to get home and you're going to throw football with them or you're going to take them to the park or... You're gonna take. You're gonna be present for their birthday, right? Whatever, whatever it is. Please, Dad, just don't drink for my birthday. I'm sure some of you guys have fucking heard that. And the next thing you know, it's a three-year-old birthday party, and you're fucking three sheets to the wind. These promises, these words. I want you to understand this. You're basically telling everyone around you to fuck off. Literally. Fuck you. Drinking is more important. If these kids, these wives, these employees, these people that look up to you so much, and in some case, whether you want to give yourself credit or not, somebody looks up to you like you're their superhero, like you're all that fucking matters, like you're the only thing that matters in their life. And at the end of the day, if you don't care about them or you can't show them, you don't care enough about yourself to show up, how do you think that makes them feel? When we talk to my guys that come through the breakthrough calls, I talk about breaking the, the curse, the, the, the gestational bloodline. I said I didn't come from a super long line of drinkers. We had some partners in my family, but I didn't come from a line of just people getting smoked. My shit came from pain, struggle, anger, ego that I developed and wanted to fucking show everybody how much of a badass it was. Your kids have a chance. If you can honestly look in the mirror today and say, you know what? I've given it my all. My kids are great. I show up for everything. I'm not talking to you. But I know this. Even where I'm at in my life right now today, Years and years and years in control of the alcohol, the drugs, fucking have an amazing life. There are certain things that still get in the way. Work gets in the way. Tired gets in the way. All these fucking excuses, when you could just say yes, you can come up with a million ways to say no. Put the weight on it like this. Just imagine that you had an opportunity to say yes one more time to your kid, but instead you chose no and you picked up a drink. And something bad happened to you. And you never got that opportunity again to tell him you loved him. You never got that opportunity to say, yes, I would love to play ball with you. you. Never got that opportunity to fucking stand up and be the superhero that they need. How does that sit with you right now? Never let the sun set on your promises. Do what you say you're going to do. Show up. Fucking keep being 
the father, the husband, the man that your family needs. And if you can't do it and you're struggling, but you want to so internally because I was fucking there. I wanted to be the best dad I could, but I couldn't stop. Just couldn't get it. So finally I figured out a way. If you can't figure it out and you need help, I have a team of men who've been through the same process as you and myself who take hundreds of calls a week to help men figure out what to do next. All you have to do is type in imacomeback.com forward slash apply or watch the video. imacomeback.com forward slash watch and just go from there. Completely confidential, no risk. We're going to give you some advice. We're going to leave you better than we found you. But at the end of the day, instead of saying no, just say yes. And the most important promise you need to keep is the one to yourself. That's it for today's episode. We'll see you on tomorrow's. Maybe. Take care.